from the Shiv Sena Uddhav Thakre faction. Priyanka Chaturvedi is Rajya Sabha Member of Parliament of uh, the uh, Shiv Sena UBT. Uh, the Supreme Court basically saying that had your leader, the former Chief Minister, Mr. Thakre, decided not to resign, uh, the Supreme Court could have restored the status quo ante. In hindsight, was Mr. Thakre badly advised legally? Was his resignation incorrect? And, uh, you know, is that what cost him today? Yes, he has the moral high ground, but politically he's nowhere. No, absolutely not. In hindsight or even as foresight, we are very clear that it was the Supreme Court which had now which they are uh, saying is unconstitutional, the governor's order for flu test. Was, uh, we had requested them for a stay at that point in time, the stay was denied. So as a moral responsibility and having known that the court case hasn't gone in the favor of staying the flu test, he stepped down and that is what morality would say. So in hindsight, in foresight or as an insight, I can tell you one thing. This government is, on, uh, is working on the base of unconstitutionality. Two things that important things that the judgment has said is A, legislative party cannot be uh, uh, acknowledged as a legal party, as a uh, political party. So that's step one. Step two, that the whip that they had uh, you know, appointed yeah. is an illegal whip. Third, the flow test was unconstitutional. So now on the basis of a uh, speaker's uh, you know, trust vote and the speaker getting the, uh, elected, the, which is Mr. Rahul Narvekar, happened on the basis of an illegal whip deciding who they will vote for. And the entire uh, election of the speaker is on base, uh, based on the unconstitutionality of it all. So the question would now be, after the Supreme Court judgment, that this entire government has, ruled, uh, has uh, lost its moral authority to govern. It is an unconstitutional and illegal government. From no, falling no, short but, of saying but that, it, the judgment ma'am, the is court very has not in any way in today's judgment opined that the current dispensation is illegal or unconstitutional uh, in any nature. In fact, it is said that while the governor had no business asking for the flow test for an intra-party dispute, it has said that it, he was right in his decision to invite Mr. Shinde uh, to take the oath of office. So nowhere in today's judgment has the court said that Mr. Shinde's government is illegal and unconstitutional. So therefore, the government stands. No, let me repeat to you, the government can stand. But moral, morally, it has lost. And I'll tell you, I've given you the sequence of events. These MLA's disqualification is also going back to the speaker. The whip that will be applicable would be the whip decided by the political party chairperson, which is Udav Bala Sahib Thakre, and our whip would work on those rebel candidates too. And anyone mm -hmm. going against the whip stands to be disqualified. And that is the speaker's domain to decide. Second thing that the Supreme Court has ruled is that the election commission cannot decide on the basis of legislative strength, whether the party belongs to that person who has more legislative strength. Thirdly, it is very apparent that without using the words illegal and unconstitutional, the steps that were followed to ensure the government came to power, the BJP Shiv Sena, uh, the Shinde Sena government came to power, came on the basis of an unconstitutional voting pattern. When your whip is illegal, how can he choose who to vote for? How can he make the speaker the speaker? Oh. So there are 40 MLAs who have gone against the, uh, okay. have gone along with the illegal whip. No, so, so, so tell me, 